I started snowboarding when I was seven years old and I became a professional snowboarder when I was 15. Um, by the time I was 18 years old, I had um, done everything that was in my heart. I had, I'd won the X Games, I'd won the US Open, and I'd even won the Olympics. And um, I had an idea that when you're successful, it goes hand in hand with being happy. And I really found my, myself in a place where I was very successful. I was living the dream that every kid wants to dream, being a professional snowboarder. But I wasn't fulfilled, and um, I didn't know why. I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know what I needed. Um, you know, I continued on um, in my career, but I was just really getting more and more depressed going through the motions. And uh, there was one day when I was starting my season, and I was really kind of just at the end of it. I just thought to myself that morning, if if this is it, if this is life, is it is this the fullness of what I'm here on this earth for? You know, I wasn't I wasn't satisfied and I wasn't fulfilled and and I didn't care if I woke up the next morning and, and I didn't think anybody else cared. And I went to this contest and a girl came down and was crying. She um, had fallen both runs and failed to make finals. Her friend came up to her just to get her to laugh and she said, Hey, it's alright, God still loves you. There was something about that statement that stirred in me that I couldn't deny there was something to it. And um, I literally went back to my hotel room because I figured there's got to be Bibles in hotel rooms, right? And uh, it was King James and I couldn't figure out you know, where I could get more information about this God. And so I, she was staying in my hotel and I went and knocked on her door and I said, Hey, my name's Kelly. I think you might be a Christian and I think you need to tell me about God. And you know, she welcomed me in and she just started explaining that God created me for a purpose. I started a journey then. I've got snowboarding back where I love it more than ever and it's more enjoyable than ever. And I think there's an idea that says when you follow God that it has to look like something, that um, ministry has to look like something. But for me, my ministry is loving people and it's loving my culture and it's loving the people that I'm around every day in the snowboard culture. And um, that's what I really try and pursue is those relationships because people don't care what you know until they know that you care. My name's Kelly Clark. I'm a professional snowboarder from Mammoth Lakes, California, and I ride with a purpose.